What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. Um, we have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Obaseki in fear as APC will use this super weapon to disqualify him at the Supreme Court. All right, guys. Before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there's a red subscribe button below this video now. Just go ahead, hit on that red subscribe button. Click the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. Alright, here are the news in details. A former publicity secretary of the Edo State Chapter of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Godwin Eahon, has said that the state governor, Godwin Obaseki, has refused to learn from history. According to him, what happened in Imo State between Action Alliance, AA, and its governorship candidate in the 2019 election, Uche Nwosu, should have served as a lesson to Abaseki and his deputy, Philip Shaibu. He said, a recent Supreme Court judgment that sacked Nwosu as a AA governorship flag bearer should have guided the governor's decision to participate in the People's Democratic Party primary after undergoing screening in APC. He said having surrounded himself with swindlers who are urging him and his deputy to continue to pursue their gubernatorial ambition on the wonky expired and empty PDP platform, Obaseki has failed to reason. Eahon said this in a statement in Benin City on Wednesday, pointing out that the court judgment in the case involving Wosu who participated in the primary election of two different parties ought to have made the Edo governor to have a rethink. The Apex Court crafted the judgment so explicitly as if it was meant for the duo of governor and his deputy to understand what fate await them, await them in the state, Eahon stated. The Supreme Court nullified Uchen was nomination in AA on the account that he had contested for nomination under APC. As if to explain itself further to the outgoing governor, the Supreme Court elaborated on how the relevant law nullifies the PDP candidacy for their understanding when it elaborates those. The spirit of the law forbids anyone to contest for nomination under two or more parties in the same election or even start the process of being nominated by procuring the nomination form. How does Governor Obaseki hope to escape the last clause? Eahon wondered. He said the governor at the moment possesses a counterfeit PDP governorship ticket, explaining that Obaseki obtained the APC nomination form, filled it, returned him, and even attended the party screening and was disqualified. He said by the clause under the reference, the Apex Court seems to have told Obaseki to stop wasting his time and resources. So also does it sound a warning to Obaseki supporters that they are about burying themselves along with a dead body because they are blind by temporary they are blinded by temporary pecuniary sentiment. Whoever is being deceived by his neighbor may survive, but whoever deceives himself is on a suicide mission. Let's watch and see where desperation and cantacorousness and sadism are leading Governor Baseki to. Like the Benin elders would say, hasty wrestling and fatal fall go together. The APC had announced the disqualification of Baseki for participating in the June 22nd primary election. This was after the governor raised alarm after alleging that the former national chairman of the party, Adam Oshomole, was planning to announce his disqualification. Following his disqualification, Obaseki resigned from the ruling party. He later joined the PDP where, they, where he participated in the primary party's primary election and emerged as a party's sole candidate for the September 2020 governorship election. Wow, all right, guys, there is a very big uh, tension right now in a, in a those state. You get me? You know, each political party keeps looking for a way to outdo the other, to outsmart the other and, you know, uh, put things smooth for themselves. So right now, APC have employed a very serious tactic, and this is their own super weapon. 
to stop Obaseke at the end. You know, normally, when once, you know, a particular candidate win or any other candidate win, obviously, the case will go to court. There will be court action, you get. And it usually is at, at the Supreme Court, the case will be decided who is the winner, you get. So, this is such, number one, is a danger to us, democracy, where every election ends up in court. And that is why during that period of time, judges are always very happy because they know, know how, know how there's going to be exchange of money. Money is going to exchange hand, you get. But uh, that aside, APC have employed one weapon and that weapon is they want to stop Obaseki at the track, right on track. And what are they planning to do? One, they said Obaseki have already, um, have already vied for, uh, have already undertaken primary in APC and was screened and disqualified that according to the constitution that you do not you understand in that same particular election you don't get screened twice in different political parties but we uh, according to the they said that Obaseki has floated these rules and have you know they come to a PDP and he screened the second time in under PDP, he passed. So what they are saying is that they are using the case study of what happened to Uche Nwosu. You know, Uche Nwosu was, was under um, uh, Roche Sokorocha party, which was AA. You get, AA featured him, and you know, but when, before he, he, he came to AA, he failed in APC. You get, APC disqualified him, so Uche Nwosu, you know, they come to AA. You get some. So when they come to a, a, the Supreme Court, see upheld the screening he did in uh, in a, in, in a APC that actually got him disqualified. So they see hammer on that. You get so APC here is using that case study. You get me that as Uche also failed in Imo State. You get because the Supreme Court gave verdict. That actually nullify his candidacy of AA. You get the Supreme Court nullify his candidacy of AA and said he has already been screened in APC. So that was a problem, and they want to use that, and that is why this is a super weapon. You get if everything all fails, if everything all fails, if they cannot, they will use this singular weapon to try to stop Obaseki right on track so this is a very serious uh moment is a basically going to survive it that is a problem remember anything is possible under the court system in nigeria look at what happened in imo state where um hopu zadima whom a lot of people in imo call supreme court governor they call him supreme court governor because he was not the mandate of the people look at what happened the supreme court installed him that's why they call him supreme court so anything can happen and remember the supreme court at that level is influenced by the powers that be because once tanko mohammed is the head of the judiciary so anything they want is what they want to be so this is a very serious moment you know and buari recently said that apc should do everything possible to make sure they win a those state that they are not going to lose a those states so the battle line is clear if apc don't win if they don't win during the election, maybe Obaseki use the state might. Using the state might, which I don't even see is um is um his ability. You get me for him to even use state might this time around. Except the new commissioner of police dances to his tune, you know what I mean? uh, So sudden. If the new commissioner of police, we know you know that of course that the state governors do use security apparatus to get their things done so dss the army the police the civil defense those are what i mean by the uh, security agency so if the state governor knows knows his way or it could be that bastard is going to use state apparatus to win his way if he win his way apc will head to court and when they head to court they will use this weak point that's what they are planning to do they're going to use this weak point to get at Obaseki and eventually court may this they may declare Pastor Ize Iyamo as the the authentic winner of 
the election anything can always happen so we are, we are waiting to see how this is going to unfold remember there have been a very serious battle between uh Baseki and and uh um and uh Oshomole and Oshomole have been retired from politics so from the standpoint of view of observers Obaseki uh, has won the day he has been able to fight godfatherism to a standstill and but we are waiting to see is Obaseki going to survive this last onslaught is he going to survive it is he going to survive it? i want you guys to drop your comment below let me know what you think do you think this is a powerful weapon or it is a uh, uh, can always kill through uh, this drop your comment below let me know what you think this is a tv god bless you or before you leave share this video to your friends on facebook twitter whatsapp and other social media drop your comment below before you leave subscribe to this channel by hitting that red subscribe button now and then thanks for watching this video god bless you